Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, I'm going to show you four catfish reels for under $90. Well, folks, if you fish for catfish, there's a few things that you need. Well, one, obviously you need some bait, you need some fishing line, you need a hook, you need a rig, you need a rod, but you're also going to need a reel. You're going to need some way to bring the fish in. Now, there's a lot of debate over which is better, a bait casting reel, a round reel, if you will, or a spinning reel. To be perfectly honest, uh, they both will catch fish. There is a big preference, though, in the catfish world for using round reels, bait casters. Now, there's a lot of reasons for this and a lot of different opinions on why this has become the popular reel to use. Some of it is castability. Many people believe that you can cast a bait casting reel further than a spinning reel, especially when you're using a lot of weight. Another reason is the clicker. People love the sound of a clicker. A lot of people like to set their baits and let a fish run with it. Uh, having that clicker on lets them know that they are taking line. It also prevents an overrun uh, or a backlash on a bait casting reel. And uh, that's one of the reasons that they're popular. Another reason bait casters are popular is the ease with which you can let line off of the reel. Uh, you can be very exacting in dropping a bait down to a certain depth. Uh, this comes in handy when you're fishing directly underneath the boat. And also taking in line can be very exacting with a bait casting reel. So these are a few reasons that people really like them for chasing catfish. Now the one downside to using bait casters is they can be expensive. Some of the nicer reels are well over $100, some of them approaching $200 and even higher. So. They can be out of the reach for a lot of people uh, when it comes to buying several of them. Most of us that go chase catfish are using multiple rods spread up and down the bank or around the boat. So we're going to need several of them. So it's not like just buying one reel and going fishing. So when you start adding up the cost of two, three, six, eight, two hundred dollar reels, it gets very expensive and you hadn't even factored in the rods yet. So. What I'm going to give you today are some affordable options, and uh, these are very affordable reels. They are reels that will give you a lot of service and uh, do it at a price tag that won't break the bank. Now, this is one that I just got in. I have not even tried it out. There's a little bit of backing line still on the reel that you can see here. And this is the uh, Cast King Rover. It's the 50R. This is comparable uh, to an Abu Garcia 6500. It's about the same size. Uh, it comes with the uh, double paddle handles. It's got the EVA foam on them. Uh, it looks like it could be replaced very easily if you wanted to add a uh, power handle to it. Uh, it's a, you know, a comfortable size, something you can, you know, manage and handle casting and retrieving very easily. It's got a thumb release on here that is very similar to some of the uh, Abu Garcia 5600 series. It's some of their lower end reels. Got a clicker. Pretty loud as far as clickers go. Uh, it's got a uh, gear ratio of 5.3 to 1, so that's about average for this size reel. Uh, the uh, actual piece that mounts onto your reel seat here on the bottom. Got a couple little double pegs going through here that go into the frame. This is a good feature. Some of the older Abru Garcias, this piece was breaking off uh, whenever um, you stress and load it. A lot of people, what would happen is they'd get snagged up with one of these reels, wrap the line around the frame. Well, what happens is if you're using really heavy line, line heavier than these reels are really designed for, all your stress is going right there and it's pulling on that. And that is causing these things to tear off, especially on some of the Abu Garcias and some of the other ones. So what they've started doing is running a little post all the way through there, which really helps out. It is a level one, uh, as you can see, uh, you know, like most of these reels in this price point, what a level one does is it puts the line on smoothly across the spool. Uh, otherwise, you would be using your thumb to guide the line back and forth or a finger. And uh, this is just uh, a little easier, especially when you're new to fishing. Uh, personally, I like them. I've got some non-level ones that I use in salt water and I much prefer these. Uh, star drag system, like most reels in this class here. This one does not have any clicking. Some of these have a little ratcheting mechanism to them. This one does not. Then obviously you're breaking stuff here. Built, uh, it's got the dual brakes you can set on it to dial it in. 
and uh, you know, good looking little reel. Uh, and this one comes in at a very good price point. This is listing right now. I was seeing it on Amazon for $53.99. Obviously those prices will fluctuate depending on the time of year uh, and when you see this uh, video. So always check. I'm gonna put some links down in the description section uh, where you can go buy one of these on the Amazon link. Again, it is the Cast King 50R Rover. Uh, a very common reel. People have been wanting me to try one of these things out and I finally got my hands on one and I'm gonna put it, uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna, I left some of the backing line on here. I'm gonna tie me on some Andy monofilament and uh, I'm gonna put this one to use this week. Now, another new reel that I just got in is this one here from PC Fun. If you watched any of my previous videos, I did one on one of their bigger reels, the uh, Solace X. It was a big reel, a lot of drag on it, a lot of line capacity. The problem was it was a little too big really for chasing catfish. And I told the guys at PC Fun, I said, you need something that is more in an Abu Garcia 6500 class. I said, I think that will go over much better with the people chasing catfish, chasing stripers. Uh, and this reel looks like it fits the bill. It is a level wind reel. Uh, again, just like most of them in this class of reels. Uh, same, similar type uh, push thumb button release here for the uh, little thumb plate. Uh, to release the reel, boom, knock it into gear, good to go there, pop, and got a little slide here for the drag. Little quieter drag uh, than some of the reels out there, but still loud enough to wake you up if you're taking a snooze. Um, again, they've got the post going through the frame, connecting, and uh, make sure that reel seat stays on there good. Uh, star drag. This one, if you can hear it, has a little bit of a ratchet mechanism to it. You can kind of feel it incrementally getting tighter. So, good little setup there. Nice accessible, adjustable brake there. And uh, good looking reel, comes in black. Uh, again, 5.3 to one on the gear ratio, which is about normal for most reels in this class. Uh, six plus one ball bearings and uh, good little reel. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out, uh, giving you a report on how it performs. Uh, I got a feeling it's going to work just fine. The Solace X, the big one was really nice. Uh, it was a good looking reel, a little too big for chasing catfish. I think this one is going to be more in line. Now this one has been selling for around $55 or $56, but if you go to the PC Fun website, they have a lot of deals, a lot of offers and stuff on there. So go check the website out. There may be some price breaks going on on these. Uh, like I said, that's just a ballpark. This one's gonna be in that mid 50 range, which like I told those guys, this is a very affordable reel at a good price point that can get people into a bait caster at a, an affordable price. Now the next reel is one I have been fishing with for uh, about a month now. Uh, and that is the uh, Green Monster from the folks at Slime Cat. Uh, again, another bait caster uh, that has a push button type release. A little different than some of the other two that we had. You see there, clicks in, boom, engages. Uh, got dual adjustments here on both sides of it. And uh, Again, a level wine. All these bait casters in this price point in class are, uh, they're gonna be level wines. The interesting thing about this one is the way this reel seat is made, it has actually four little rods that go through and attach to the frame. So even more strength uh, on making sure that this reel stays secure. Sanitized green, it matches the rod. That's just cool. That's got a coolness factor of like a 10. So we gotta go good with that. Uh, star drag. Uh, this one again is just a smooth, uh, no ratcheting or sound to it at all. Comes with a uh, comes with a power handle, which is cool, and uh, good looking reel. Good looking reel. It uh, looks very similar to the lose reels that you've seen me use before. I uh, used them for a long time. Had two of them on my rods. And uh, this one looks very similar in design and body shape. Now this reel has around 20 pounds of drag, which is uh, a little bit higher than some of the Abus I tested. Uh, so it's in really, really good shape. Now guys, this is one of the more expensive reels out of the ones I'm showing you. It's checking in at $84.99 right now. But again, check out the website. 
They offer some deals on these things depending on the time of the year, so you may be able to get this reel at a little bit cheaper price. All right, the last one I'm gonna show you is a little bit smaller. The actual spool on this one is a little bit smaller. I'll compare it to the um, uh, Slime Cat reel here. It's just a little, you notice, it's a little bit narrower. Uh, this is probably closer to an Abu Garcia 5000 if you've seen one of those. This is made by Ancient Mariner. You've seen me use their reels before on the boat. Uh, this is a 4000 series. I believe the ones I'm using are 6000 series. They are closer in size to these other reels I've shown you. Uh, this one just has a smaller line capacity. Drag is about the same on it. And honestly, the features are pretty much the same. These come with a power handle, which is very nice. A very nice little feature there. Anodized, you know I love anodized stuff. Uh, comes with a clicker. Good loud clicker. And uh, we got, again, a push button there for the, and again, the post. Pretty much all these reels have this post type design that uh, puts that reel seat on to through the frame of the reel itself. And uh, these are going for around 80 bucks. Uh, I looked on the website and um, they didn't have, they were out of the 6,000s at the taping of this. It's, uh, they may be getting some more in. Obviously, check out their information. Uh, it's Ancient Mariner. I'll put a link to uh, their products down below where you can check them out and uh, they've held up good. I had a uh, Paul go out on Pinky, a reel that you may have seen on some of my videos. Uh, reached out to the people at Ancient Mariner. They shipped one out to me along with a new uh, worm gear for the level one and uh, got it replaced and got it working. Part of their lifetime warranty that they have on these reels, which is pretty impressive. Uh, level one reel, good quick retrieve rate. I think you'll like any of these reels. Uh, if you're looking for a bait caster, that's a little more affordable. This gives you kind of a different price range here to look at. Uh, like I said, I'll have links to all these products down in the description section so you can check them out and take one home with you. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.